Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap. Today's video is about decimals, understanding notation and operations. So as usual, let's jump right into it. Going back to the pizzas, say they are cut into 10 slices. What if we have one and one tenth pizzas? Is there a way to represent that without having to use an improper fraction or a mixed number? There certainly is. All we have to do is extend the place values we know to represent these fractions of one as well. This is achieved with the decimal point. Instead of calling one slice one tenth, we can call it 0 0.1, since this is the tenths place. Two slices would be 0 0.2, all the way up to 10 slices, which would give us one whole pizza. In this way, if you want to represent a number that was somewhere between two whole numbers, like the way one and one tenths pizza is more than one pizza but less than two, we simply place a dot to the right of the units place and then include as many place values as we need. In this case, we just need the tenths place, so 1.1 will suffice. The place values to the right of the decimal work just like the regular ones. As we go to the left, each place value is 10 times greater than the previous. While as we go to the right, each place value is 10 times smaller. So after the tenths place, we get the hundredths place and the thousandths place, and so forth. We can do operations with decimal values just as we would with normal numbers. We just have to line up the place values. 2.3 plus 1.4 involves adding the tenths together to get 7 tenths, and then adding the units together to get 3. This is the same way that we would add 23 and 14 together. We just have a decimal place present that alters the magnitude of the answer. In later videos, we will learn all about how to convert between fractions and decimals. Alright guys, that was decimals. Be sure to take a look at the practice questions and check for comprehension. We'll see you in the next video.